Good day folks, hope we're all doing well today and welcome back to Silver Run Forest. And this time we've got some beams loaded up here. Ooh, crazy van. Also you can see, uh, sorry, yeah, so we did sell some prefabricated walls. And I can't remember what else I showed. <laughs> oh yeah, I was it some contract work we did. Fortunately we did lose six grand because I did make a mistake with some uh, what was it? The tree, the deadwood trees. Where at the time I was recording, like, doing stuff off camera. Was it in my usual spot? I was it a bit further back, in, sort of in my bed. I was in my bed, actually, I was doing the work. And I thought I was cutting normal, normal deadwood trees, but no, I cut in three normal trees and lost six grand. But also, mine's gone down quite a bit. We have spent, oh, what was it? 25, about 50 grand, 40 or I'll say 50 grand it was from getting some materials we need, some planks. They're at the south sawmill. We are waiting for another batch to arrive because I think we paid yeah, 60 grand for something like 40 or so pallets of planks, something like that. I can't recall. Yep, they're not free, but they are still quite discounted from what they usually sell for, so... It's basically provide everything for the roller coaster. So hopefully... So yeah, we've got the wood beams it definitely needs. I'm not going to collect any floor tiles yet because we've still got a couple of pallets at. Oh, uh, what was it? Next to. Under Road Coaster, that couldn't stop last time. I thought we'd try this just because, obviously. Goosey Possession. He just vanished. <laughs> yeah. As I was saying, yeah, it's been like a couple of months since we elapsed time in actually probably provide materials so I know things for like the bathtubs it, not bathtubs chairs tables and that it will need for sure and I know for each step it requires like five six hundred liters of each and actually what's on here if I go on to Farmson website scroll down Two more posts. Get the Rokusra project. So yeah, there's only one step for step five in stage two. And then also step six to eleven it says well, basically step one to four we're on like step two or three by now. Step five or stage two requires beams, board, planks, metal. Floor tiles, prefab wall, staircase rings, chairs, tables, shingles, barrels, and buckets. We also need some for step 6 to 11, so that's basic 6 steps of needing a lot of stuff. So, so what I'm just going to do here is just do a quick little time lapse. Because I don't think I've actually properly shown me collecting everything. Usually I'll get everything done and then record stuff. So yeah, for a change, I'll show you folks of me picking everything up. And uh, we'll resume as we head over to the Rokusa project. That is coming along very well, that is. Getting the for your process, but good things come to those who wait.
got all of our materials that we need for the road coaster. Pretty much, most of this will be everything they need. Apart from things like um, maybe a couple, one or two more chairs, buckets, and that, and barrels perhaps. But apart from that, also we did load up all the planks that we bought. So yeah, it was thirty thousand liters. So 30 pallets for 60 grand. Yeah, 60 grand and change, I think it was, or maybe 59 and change. So yeah, obviously we've got a like, pretty much like a 50% discount on it, but still we paid for them. They were just offcuts that they produced, didn't sell, so we they asked us if we fancy some, so yeah, we'll buy them at a discounted price. So yeah, let's go and see how much money we can make and how much this they will actually take. Yes, and then more capacity for planks. A hundred and thirty-four grand. Well, that ain't too bad, actually. See, that is all of that they'll need. And I think, yeah, we'll take some of these planks. Yeah, we'll take the planks to the third, no, foreign tile. They won't need all this, they'll probably maybe need a couple of thousand years, if that even. That's why things like um the furniture, they definitely need it because I did set planks to distribution. And yeah, we can actually show this, so yeah, they got buckets of planks. However, if we go down to our all in one production They've got 45,000 litres of planks. I'm pretty sure we did provide some of that. I would assume we did, but even then. But yeah, so what we're going to do now is with our plank production, we set it to store rather than distribution. Because I don't trust it taking it all to the furniture or at least any of it to the furniture yeah furniture is up this way and it will need some metal as well for some armoire yeah, is it armoire i'm not too sure i'm gonna say armoire i'm sure someone in the comments below will obviously correct me if i'm wrong How is 16 litres of bucket still weigh 500 kilos? There we go. Come on, sit, take it. Or are you actually full? Have a little look here. Okay, you need long planks. You've got enough planks. Yeah, actually, they're actually full of metal now. So now we've got a bit of metal to make everything. Actually, I'll probably say no to long planks for the armoire. So rather, actually, no, yeah, heck it. We'll say yes to that. But yeah, we've got like a bathtub that needs selling. Actually, how much are bathtubs going for? I would have no idea, but I'm sure it'll go for a fair price. Because it's all handcrafted, it's all a nice handcrafted wooden bathtub. Six, well, nearly seven grand at Elm Creek, so yeah, happy days for that. But you think, you know what? Uh, just last a little bit. Let's do a very quick sell. Ah, uh, oh, was it? Yeah, Silver Run Market, because then 
we can actually get our wool because our sheeps they've been pro busy producing some nice wool for us and I think we've got about three full pallets at the moment um, that's it we really need flooring tiles we'll get the forklift so that's why I did blow, blow over that definitely needs a service Still maintaining speed at 13, 14 miles an hour. But yeah, I'm sure to say the only piece of equipment that needs a service needs a good wash, and I will clean my equipment at some point. Also, I did say over winter I was going to produce a brand new yard for our equipment, but that hasn't really come to any fruition yet. I think, yeah, with the whole yard expansion, it will happen at some point. Maybe in the next episode or two. How is the boat you're doing? Yeah, still got plenty of floor and tile, so we won't provide any more of that. I think, oh, heck it, we'll just sell all this. Make a bit of a quick buck. There we go. But yeah, this is what I love just about to run here. So many productions. And yeah, I'm happy with everything, how much money we're making at the moment. Nope, that's for green. Wrong cell point. Barbara can sell floor tiles and metal. Apart from Elm Creek, of course. Sell everything container, silver market. Yeah, we did just go to Zara and was accepting it. Yeah, I thought this was silver on market, but for some reason it wasn't taking it. Oh, now it will. That was a bit odd. But yeah, look like at that, just another 16 grand. Anything in second hand market for us? Ooh, that is a nice bather. 68% off as well. But if we was going to go with the bather option for our grass and weather I think we would go down the selectable bales mod route so I'm pretty sure I've got this mod installed this will be yes selectable bale capacity that could pretty much do times the density obviously bales but yeah so that's that and where's our Volvo to? Well, you're there. Do we need you? Actually, yes, we do. Because we need. Hopefully, yeah, left up there. Gonna need you. Because we do have a 12 meter container again. Obviously, the slow mill, it needs timber desperately. Got about another month's worth of timber, if that. So if we go to our productions. Yeah, 8,000 litres, and that's going to go pretty much within the next, well, pretty much this month, so. I think we got a full 12 meter container, and whatever extra bits of wood we have, we'll just go ahead and get rid of it. Send it up to the sawmill. But yeah, also one thing we need to do as well today is get some more iron ore down. 
conveying the ore. Also, things like I sure grass fields. I should be ready to mill again, I think. But from the textures, it doesn't look like it's ready to mill again. So perhaps that was just a bit of meadow grass that ah, doesn't regrow. Because yeah, for sure. Well, this that's how it does. Actually, no, it is, does has grown. Dust has grown. House has yeah, it has grown. <laughs> But yeah, again, just off camera, I'm just do a bit busy with a bit of timbering and that. Ah, so what have I done? So, you're full for 12 new logs. Your distracted bits. Your 8 new logs. Ah, yeah, so that was my plan. So I was going to do two rows of 8 new logs in the timber trailer. Because I think you get about. You can get quite 20 centimeter log, well, 20 meter logs in, but you can get 15 meter logs in with some space to spare. Oh, yeah, this, this is what happens when you sort of do things off camera in between episodes and then completely forget what you was actually doing. This time, we'll make sure to extend you. So, despite this weighing 10 tons. Even though it is breaking our big bag handler, just ignore that. Yeah, physics ain't liking that too much. But yeah, so... We'll go and take this up to sawmill, sell it, timber trader from down here. Get all the wood loaded up and then sell the wood to well, like not sell, give the wood to the old sawmill, I think. Timber, we did obviously cut some more trees down and just go and get these ass little bits. So, yeah, 
First of all, in the sawmill we had what about eight thousand liters. Obviously, time has elapsed a bit because I did turn on the time back out to times three, times five. And it is now, after about an hour or so, of, yeah, so about say 22, 23,000 years of timber sounds about right. And of course, this won't provide the rest of it, but it'll be finding a good chunk of it. Again, little shraggly bits here. But yeah, I think actually this grass has grown and it's ready to cut. Even though we've constantly driven over this, yeah, perhaps something like that we'll need to stop doing. Because at the end of the day, it's just going to be food for our sheep and having poor quality grass for our sheep or poor quality hay ain't the best thing for them. Even if you go down the side route at some point, not the most best things, not the best of things to do, but. So you're not perfectly doing that, but it's a load. It's a load, nevertheless. And I'll say it's probably around 30-ish thousand years of timber, so... I think, yeah, if we do a couple of those between, like, this episode, next episode... Or at least every episode or two, just provides a load or two of timber, like this, a full tray of load up to the sawmill, just keep it chugging along the way, especially now we're doing planks again. I think that's how we were doing planks, so that's pretty much a quarter of the heat production that we didn't have to worry about. Oh, that was super tight. Actually, whilst we're here, could go with a bit of a fuel stop here. Go fill up our lorry. How much is diesel? 72 cents a litre. Oh, I don't think that was 72 cents a litre, I don't think. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Or diesel, it says $4. Guess it's because it's American. What's that? For a normal diesel, it's four dollars and twenty-one cents per gallon. Yeah, because I think that's how. Oof, ouch! In the UK and in Europe, we do like pound euros per liter. I think yeah, four bucks a gallon is about four bucks a liter. I'm not. Sure. I'm sure someone again, an American viewer, will comment down below what that means. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, though, from what I've heard in the past, it's like X amount of bucks per gallon of gas or fuel. But again, I could be completely wrong there, so don't quote me on that. But yeah, some nice bits of healthy timber for the sawmill. And then after this, we'll quickly fertilize field one, because we do have a fertilizing contract to do. Obviously I could have accepted it and borrow the equipment and then fill it up with fertilizer afterwards and then return the equipment. I get like 18 grand as covering the costs off the fertilizer but no we got our own leased out so which will need to be returned very soon. I think because if we can cut the grass today in April yeah cut it today Turn the fertilizer spreader, get the grass fertilized as well before we said return. Well, before we turn said fertilizer. Oh, there's a tree log or two that hasn't been collected. Turn times back down to 0.5 just so we can see exactly how much timber there is.
you up. Seven thousand years, so yeah. So yeah, I think we need to like, touch him in the region of sixty thousand years. And as always, I do love the animation. Here. So yeah, I'm gonna let this process for a minute too, and then I'll bring the folks back once we're done, and we'll see how much timber sawmill got now. But yeah, we're already at forty thousand liters. Didn't mean to skip time as suddenly accidentally forgot to pause the game, left for a bit, came back, and well, yeah, so <laughs> we're in May now, it was like into May, three hours of morning, so yeah, we'll just continue on from here. So, yeah, we have collected our wool. Oh, look at this, our forest is starting to grow. About time. But yeah, we've got some wool here. We are going to need some more iron ore for the factory. I really need to start working on that biomass heating plant because we really haven't paid attention to that over the last couple of months. So, yeah, we'll do that. So, we'll chuck you in. Did chuck a, like a partial pallet in just to get the production started. And uh, yep, we got loads of wool. And uh, the planks in that, I wouldn't hurt too much. Just things I sort of did whilst we was off camera during the night bit into May. It's so awful. Just got that filled up a little bit. So that's when we start our planks to distribution. Not all of them goes to here, so it actually gets shared to the other production. Or the other productions that is required them. Um, furniture is accepted here. At roller coaster is coming very well. Boat yard, I think, in the next episode will still be in May, and I think that's gonna be ready actually to set sail at that. So we'll come to that in a short while. But yeah, in terms of the wood and that, we got up to about 82,000 litres at the end. And then I did put a little half a load in, that got us up a little bit, and then... But regardless, we're back down from 60,000 litres. Or just shy of that off wood, so... We've got another big load of trees here. Some of them were like 20 meter logs, 50, well, yeah, I think some of them were just cut full length, trimmed them down, and left them be like that, so. Oh, no, too far for it. There we go. Let's undo the straps. I don't know what the game's like at times with that. But yeah, we're just going to let that play along. And actually, if we have a look at our forest, this is giving me ideas. Like, this has come out really well. Of course, it's not all perfectly straight because we're see we're way in circle words, but then just kept the missing bits. So, again, this is where you can see my plan. I did like up to here. Cut across, didn't turn off the planter. Got a bit squirrely here, but overall, it's actually very nice. I may not want to do over here. Because with this plot of land, I'm, I'm half tempted just to think about it. So, cut these trees down at some point, perhaps late next year, this time next year, when they're a bit more fully established. Like our temporary trees that we did put over here to sort of help out over here has worked out quite well. But yeah, my plan was to do the yard, 
put more trees down, so possible opportunities. However, also at the sawmill. No, not you. Uh, there we go. I was thinking we could have a constant supply of timber to the sawmill, but because of the idea of me getting this yard in the first place, remember, folks, it was to direct trees from X place to over here, and Ozzy we did cut a few trees, and and if we did this, you just drag them over. But but yeah, my thinking is. If we can clear this entire area out here, plant trees, but perhaps not as dense, but definitely a bit more sparse than what we're currently doing. Still, so wiggle around. But more I'm thinking about it, perhaps if we could get a tr if we say get a tree low enough here, even if we have to import a tree and plant a fully grown tree. Just for aesthetics, then the yard and mark up to there would that be too long? Actually, I'm not too short. If we go to uh, where would be to forestry equipment, platinum expansion. Because yes, we could have a, you know, a placeable one like one of these. Maximum length, 500 meters. This is 804 me 840 meters. So you're thinking like, like some of those... Uh, okay, we're sort of accepting trees temporarily. But yeah, my thinking is like, between here and on top of that hill, maybe a couple of hundred meters. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> is it here on taking trees? I think that's what mill is full. Okay, I've still got a bit more capacity left. But yeah, so I'm thinking that some is let's say this tree here is about say twenty meters long, so twenty forty uh, Yeah, I'll so I'll say a mid pull it across to here perhaps. Yeah, admittedly a lot of it is gonna be strategic placement of said yarder. But yeah, because also we need to set the high mark over there first of all. Actually, not technically the correct way of how to use said equipment, but yeah, like, sawmill is full now. Just trying to think about where, so yeah, how we're going to place it, it's basically, like, in fear I think this end, it's going to be long end and this is going to be short end perhaps like the, where it goes down good thing this equipment only weighs so much tonnage Okay, yeah, I know it's all the technical way I found to you transport your yarders, especially a vital piece of equipment like this, but... Because, yeah, I want it, this to be... Somewhere over here, up high... Nope, I can actually pull it. Yeah, I didn't think about the toe in it. Yeah, just thought we'd grab it. Oh yeah, a lot easier solution than just to. Okay, this is gosh, it is a quite steep terrain. 
because you have if you get something that's set up up here, go to all these trees, go all the way across, we could potentially plant a very nicely dense forest. Like a nicely dense forest in certain areas and just have timber going back and forth whenever. And once we get a bit yeah, once we actually get leveled up here, I've got another plan swap for this. Come on. There we go. But yeah, I think if we just follow the pathway, it would be a lot easier for us. Because so yes, I'm thinking if we get a yarder somewhere here, do this. Then potentially we could go across. Go over to here. And then... Because yeah... Where is? So I'm, I'm assuming if you put logs in this end, it'll also be collected. It'll just like float around, and for the, like, the course of the river, it'll sort of force woods go. I'm not too sure. But again, is it gonna be easier for four meters? I think getting to over here. Yeah, I think overall is actually gonna be a good idea for us. In theory. Okay, I've not done this before, so this may take a couple of attempts. Okay, something's blocking that, and that's probably itself. Come on. There we go. Turn you around. Okay, well, actually, wait a minute. Well, one, I should not know how to. How far are we off our claim? Ah, right, so. Sure, yeah, we'll buy this plot of land because it's definitely going to be worth it. Plus we were making too much money and see so if we chuck you seems to be working. But yeah, 150 grand, that is well worth the money. And suppose we're just making too much money at the moment. Having a little treat for ourselves. Yeah, it's attached to there. Should we need to get the help controls up here? I've sort of done it here, but I think I've moved on to myself. Um, bear with me a sec, folks. Yeah, I need to. Figure this out a bit. So I think I've got this correct. So forget you. Let's aim for down here first of all. Oh, 
Obviously, it's only just a general surfing concept, but. So, let's see. We'll put all these trees around here like one, two, here, three, whatever. Ideally, we want something close to the railway tracks. Is that too long? That thing is actually working. So yeah, the road goes along there. Or not the the cable. And obviously at the moment the cable is coming its way over to us. So yeah, like how I had it set up the first time was the correct way but I just sort of did it to the wrong point but yeah again I have no idea how long this is this so let's do a test um, oh, the only one we've got is you I oh, can't cut you down Ah, so we can't cut certain trees down because it's using as anchors. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. <coughs> um, okay, yes, yes, do a general quick test. Let's say, go to landscaping, go to trees. So, koi. Nah, I don't want to use the tree. Let's put a Ponrosa Pine in, at the very least. Okay, I mean, I didn't mean to plant as many, but... Or place it as many. So if we say... Let's cut you down. Yeah, like those two, sh two shoes are grown together, but yeah. So, what I plan is if we just get these. C I know we're gonna be. I should, I should maybe over them here. Because how heavy is this? Also, we're only able to do like. Okay. That's gonna be an interesting one. Yeah, because we're only like to do up to nine tons, so. Like, only two of these trees will be able to carry. Oh, where are you going? Oh, that was close. Ah, so yeah. Cable is there. So I say, attract tree to yarder. How are you too heavy? Ah, maximum weight three tons. Ah, that's why you're too heavy. I thought it was 9 tons. It was this carrying support. You know what? That is fighting by me. And let's see. Now, what he wants to do is lift you up. Is it? I want it to go up. Are we snapping the keyboard walkers? 
not too sure exactly what the hell we are doing, but well, let's grab you. You're a small piece of log. Sure, let's just move this over. Then she's gonna come over here, right? Or am I just snapping that cable? I think we may have snapped the cable. if you can least tap it. But yeah, sort of the general idea is how the concept is good. I think, yeah. I'm not sure what technically is like the heaviest tree does. Quidus is a heavier tree. Also, at the same time, it's just as useless as it is heavy. Oh, which is very... Stop. do it roll. Stop it. There we go. Tiny chunk. Okay, we're naming the cable to follow us, right? It's actually lifting it up. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I was like, Galen's come over here. But yeah, it's just like, uh that is weird, so it's actually R1, down sit down, to get to go up. Ah, right. So we're making progress. So progress, but we are making progress nevertheless. Drop you down. And detach. So yeah, I think... Well, uh, maybe stop tabbing over. We was going to get the worker up here, but for some reason we're stuck on... What? Ah! Collectible. The deer sculpture. Yeah, that was a bit of a cheeky one, but to be we did get stuck here because of the worker. <coughs> See, that is a general crucial concept. Um, these trees we will put in. Well, technically, we've cheated in these trees, haven't we? Even short if we're going to actually be able to do much with this or with the trees here because obviously the thing's so full. I 
a call and you're like, bang on three tons. He said, oh no, sorry, it's got to be like two point, well, it's probably, probably like three point, oh, I don't know, whatever, tons. So now, if we go down there, ouch, mind our heads. There we go. If you smooth you over without smashing into the sawmill. And in theory, drop a tr tree. And jobs are good then. Ah, right, okay, right, fair enough. Actually, the two of you were just a bit. Uh, what was it? Too far over? There we go. But yeah, the concept is there, the general principle is there, so yeah, I'm actually really excited for that. But yeah, so I think we'll quickly run off the episode here by doing a quick time lapse of getting the very last amount of resources that is needed for the road coaster provided. So what does the road coaster need? I know it needs four tiles. Well, actually, no, 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 no. no. We're gonna get the long planks first of all, because we've got a few productions that needs helping out. <laughs> Soybeans. You know what? Why not? But yeah, like the floor and factory that's got no long planks, the shingle factory's got no long planks, so Yep, a lot is to need doing. So we'll set you to store. For, for now we'll set you on to distribution. Yeah, so we'll set a few things up with the productions and they will explain more once. We're done, and why we're doing that? Making fabric. But yeah, I'm the all done, folks. And I'll see you all in a short moment.
So, righty then, that is our style. We sold a few items along the way. And we're just getting our last bit of floor tiles. I know the road coaster won't take all of this, but I'm just giving them to what they need now. Just get it ahead of things, so. That is all sorted. So yeah, first of all, we'll take this all to the road coaster, and then all these materials here can be sold to Elm Creek. And I may do it sneaky way, but first of all, let's just see what the road coaster needs, because we haven't gone for it for about a month or so. I think that's pretty much everything now it needs, so... There we go. And we'll see what the boat yard needs. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that boat is ready to sell. Because in the next episode, we'll say in May, we'll say at point five times, maybe up to one, so... Oh yeah, the boat yard. The boat is right set sell. But yeah, we'll see what this needs. Well, it apparently needs all of that. Apparently needs all the four tiles. So yeah, leave it launching in 3 hours at 11 minutes. Actually, what, I won't give any more floor tiles. We'll, yeah, we'll save that for... Uh, so, uh, Elm Creek, yeah, should still get a few more grand out of this. So yeah, we're, even after buying all sorts of stuff, we're back up to 862 grand. And that's the thing, we're making so much money. We've got some contract work as well to do. Well, we can't get straw from soybeans since we're not PC, we don't have the option to straw. Um, like, get straw from it, so. As with help of a mod. Or, actually, is there, is there the straw harvest, whatever mod on PC out yet? Not too sure, but. So, yeah, we'll go up to Elm Creek and see how much of this we can sell. We should go back to get the bathtub, but yeah, yeah, we'll leave that for another time. But yeah, bro coaster. It's one of those things. Just keep on top of it. It's fine now. It's gonna be fine for a couple of stages. Actually, let's check that a sec. Oh, what stopped? Whoa, 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 whoa! What stopped? Ah, so barrel factory needs planks. Oh, it's going through it at a quite a rate. You know what? We'll just set long planks to distribute and. Yeah, will it do its thing there? I know it's going to send most of it to here. Actually, we could get a couple of pallets. But yeah, also, yeah, we bought, uh, was it, technically our first wheel loader, or not wheel loader, um, what is that word, uh, a forklift, <laughs> oh, I'll find it eventually, but yeah, it's been a long day, just got back and finished recording this episode, fortunately, uh, the episode was supposed to be released on Friday, had issues with accidentally putting the wrong clip up so it didn't render the full HD rough cut of it. Rookie mistake and then obviously it went out 
Friday night, for my birthday. Work Saturday in the freezing colds, obviously working on the motorcycle as, as a piece of every rider. Yeah, that was pretty nippy of us. That damn red car. Every bloody time. And then, yep, I had to day off. Just spent time with family and that. Not much else done. Well, there's a good plan on stream today. But yeah, it's got quite a few things in that. Bits of balls, have my knee saver in that. There we go. Oh, nope. Not quite. That's it. Let's see how we'll quickly sell these. Whilst we are here. Again, a couple more grand. So that is well, pretty much, yeah, what the time to get it sold. 15 grand. One of 16 grand. And that ain't a too bad of a price. Sorry, you back up. Sorry, folks. I didn't mean to block you. But yeah, for, them, for all this, we should get about. We may hit like nine. Well, now we get about sixty-two grand ish for metal. So that's six eighty, nine forty. I'll say right about nine six nine sixty-five, nine seventy-five. If we do hit a million, which I don't think we will, we'll surely hit a million in the next episode. Actually, is there any great demands at the moment? So we go to prices. Nope. Oh, wood is in great demand at again, at again, again at the container warehouse. So I know what I'm doing. Sh Throw away. <laughs> so yeah, that's sixteen grand. And we've got the trader. Nine forty. Nine fifty. Nine eighty three, so yeah, nine ooh, yeah, nine seventy five wasn't quite bang on, but it was very close. So yeah, what we'll do in prepare for what we'll do between cameras in the next episode, we will get. Twelve meter container and a six meter container. Tools with actual wooden areas. Not too sure how much we've got to work with. I got yeah. I think if we try like, sort of finish the rest of clearing this off, there are some pretty nice tall trees here. Also got these trees to work on. No, no, no. Those north we don't know, but yeah, these got plenty of them. And then the couple of logs left over, but I think they're gonna be rough cuts. But if they're like nine point five or ten point seven meters, then which we'll chop down six meters. But yeah, things are really starting to look forward and more of a positive note for us. Write it down. Also, in between episodes, money will also go up when we do these contracts. I'll get these done off camera. 
Yeah, because it things like, uh, what was it? The fertilizer. Yeah, we've had that now for a couple of months, and I haven't used it, so get money back. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not scratch on yet, then please consider. But, for as you do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, this will be far more Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.